Hunting with my dad started back when I was a third grader, was the year I actually killed uh, my first buck. I was eight years old. What I've learned most from my dad is that if you work hard and stay focused on something, it's gonna pay off in the long run. In life, that's, that's very applicable because if you work hard and pursue something that you're passionate about and stay persistent in that pursuit, it's gonna be a, a tremendous payoff for you in the end. So that's, that's what I've learned the most from my dad. Uh, when I think about my dad, I think about perseverance really, just battling through the hard times, striving to be the best and just working as hard as you can no matter what's against you and, and just being the best that you can at, at whatever you do. Um, I was a daddy's girl from the day I was born and I spent most of the time with him. He was always outside. Hunting growing up was a family tradition for my dad, my brother and I, and it's remained that way throughout my whole life. And I think the thing I learned most from my dad growing up and, and raising me in the outdoors is uh, a perspective on life and really what matters most. And it's really a small court group and you know, family is right at the center of that. I just wanna say, I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for everything you've taught me that's not only uh, applicable to hunting, but to life. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hunting season this year. I would like to tell my dad thank you. Some of the best lessons I've learned in life have been from you and from being with you. And I hope you have a great Father's Day and I love you. Since we grew up in a family of boys and we don't tell each other that we love each other, I'll just say happy Father's Day, Dad, and thanks for everything you've done. <laughs>